So actually there are six Diva canvas tips, which include using a hot knife, painting the edges with black, using two-sided tape to adhere to image, zip ties, bundling your mesh, and using adhesive bling with Gorilla Glue. Hey everybody, it's Crystal with Crystal's Diversa Creations. Just wanted to um, drop in. I'm getting ready to do a Diva canvas. And um, there's great videos all over the place, so I'm not going to do the full Diva canvas, but I wanted to share with you some tips. So I kind of got about maybe five or six tips that I'm going to share with you as I do the Diva Reef. So I guess I'll just fast forward through some of the parts. I'll keep them included, but um, I'll take the time when I'm actually going over the tips. So the first tip that I actually have is to get yourself a hot knife. And it looks like this comes from Walmart. And it's, um, I think it was like $12.99. But it's really good um, for cutting out a foam poster board or anything like that. So that's the first tip. I'm actually going to use that when I cut out the um, Diva head. So this is the, this is a um, Diva Reef that I did before. So this is one of them. And what I'm going to do is this one here. So this is the eight and a half by 11. And it's actually on like a presentation paper. So, um, this is what I'm about to cut out. As the knife is heating up, I'm going to cut this out and then I'll be ready to um, put it on some poster board and put it on the canvas. I'll be right back. So now we're going to trace out the head onto the um, to the board. So this is where the hot knife comes into play. So the hot knife, I don't know if you can see the little bit of smoke that's coming out, but in any event, it just gives you a nice clean cut. And you're just gonna follow along your um, lines and it just makes it very nice and clean Wiggle it where you gotta go. That's the eyebrow. It's got a little bit going on there. Okay. 
and you'll likely find other uses for this knife as well. But you see how nice and easy it glides through there? Again, it's like butter. And then it's just like that. Get rid of any little spaces just trying to pull it on. And there you have it. So it's very much a quicker and cleaner process than when you're trying to saw it with the knife. So again, this is uh, tip one. And it's to get yourself a little hot knife. This hot knife came from Walmart in the floral, the fake floral section. Um, and it was about $12.99, I believe. And it's also good um, for if you need to cut off this, it seals it so you could actually cut your um, mesh with this and it'll kind of seal the end so it won't unravel if you have the patience to do that. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to adhere this to the board and the picture to this. Oh, wait, y'all. I ain't cut out the back of this. But what I wanted to say also was tip two is once I get this back cut out, I'm actually going to paint this edge with black paint. Take you about two minutes, but it looks so much nicer when you're looking at the side view of the um, of the image and you're not looking at white. So it's just a quick little paint and you done but it does look so much nicer than when it's just left unattended. Okay. Okay, so now, there we go. So they're sitting on top of each other and I always keep some little paints right in here. It's so quick. And it dries fast, too. So it's literally, I just grab some of this black paint. This is just an acrylic paint. Because I try to do markers and all like that. It don't work right. This is just kind of quick and to the point. It don't matter if you really get it on the front while you're not trying to, but it's either going to be on the back or it's going to be under the picture. So, it's all right. We're just really concerned about the sides. And I don't want to oversaturate because then that just means it's going to take longer to dry. And bottom will usually be covered up by something that you're using to finish off your decorations, but we'll still do that. much nicer that'll look when it's laying and it's all you know just kind of a clean look from the side 
it's like the details is what makes the difference between when you look at something and you go like that's really nice or i mean that's all right we don't want that's all right we want that's really nice so there we have it so that's it two seconds two minutes something like that and we're done with that so that's tip two paint your edges now i'm going to um my scratch this onto here and oh tip three I don't um I don't Mod Podge my image I actually tape it down with two sided tape gun so, um, let's get this. Smudge pressure in this thing. baby wipes. As you can clean off this um, if something gets on your canvas or anywhere else you can always clean off very easily with a uh, um, baby wipe. That's good. Drop them down, center, center how you need it. And drop it. Then what I was saying about the um, about the two sided tape is I like to um, take the two sided tape and just kind of You always want to get your corners in any place so that it's going to be down good. Okay. 
I'm going to take our image. Find the space like so. That's her eyelash. Get her eyelash situated. She's not fully seated yet because I'm trying to make sure that she's lined up. When she's lined up, and I just kind of smooth her over. Okay. That's what we got so far. She's on the... We will actually put some zip ties to secure it. Once we determine what's going to go down the bottom, we'll put like one or two zip ties down where it won't be seen. So we know for sure that we can put some up here. So we'll... Okay, so when we do the... The mesh will do three at a time and what that's going to do is help speed up the process when you're putting them in it's almost like you're creating a pick so instead of like just one and then you got to keep going one 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 and it weakens the um poster board by doing it this way you're actually creating a bunch at a time and then I also cut these in half, so. So you see, so it'll get fuller faster. So you just sit them to the side. I'm probably only need like Five or six, I don't know. We'll see. And of course, if you want tighter curls, you curl it tighter. You want looser curls, you curl it looser. And just kind of cross them. And these were cut in sets of two. You can, if you got three rolls, you can just lay them down in um, one on top of the other in threes and cut them just so that you can cut faster. So there's just little tips. three and as you you know when you put them in together and you put them side by side they stand up so you don't have to worry about so much that they don't look like they're holding up they will stand up I have just a bunch cut, and I'm just going to um, roll those up. So I'll keep going, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I want to get a piece that's going to fit on the back of her heat. So it's just going to fit around that square that's already there.
okay so i cut a piece that's gonna kind of go like that and then the rest of the hair will just kind of cover her up so in the corner and then we'll just keep building out from there so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be right back okay so I'm gonna probably cut a few more pieces but this is what we have so far and I'm not sure if okay so I'm not gonna add any more I feel like this is actually full enough so what I do is kind of go um, on the back and just get rid of some of the excess and zip ties and secure it. But before I do, this is kind of what we got going on right now. So she got her little Eagles Diva little something something going on there. And then she's got some feather with some little Eagles right there to secure this here and I just want to butt it up as close as I can get that corner fit it in as best I can because okay. when I was holding it close it just seemed rather full and then once it's actually more here if I feel like I need some more I can add it at that time. Okay. All right. That seems to be pretty good. So I'm gonna start up here. And just the board and the canvas. Once I get this um, secured with these zip ties, I'll go back with some um, with some um, with the glue gun. That's good. That's got that secured. Then I'll go ahead and I'll put one up here. So there we go and um i'm gonna i am gonna add a little bit of the short here i have a short one and i think i'm gonna add just a few pieces right here right here and kind of up here just to give it a little to, to push to push this up and to be full and staying where i want it to stay so just a few pieces right there in that center and then i'm gonna put some um makeup on her and i'm gonna trim this so i'm gonna do a little bit of that and then i'll be back
Okay. So the um I went all the way up. Left this over in the corner. And I'm trying to think. Okay, so I just added glue. The hot glue. To the top here. To bring it close. Then I'll just put a little clamp. Till tomorrow. Just get it nice and stuck in there. So that would just make that layup there even better. I did her makeup and I just used, um, these are uh, dragonfly glazes. They're um, a color changing top coat. So I use that one. And I use this one for the lips. And I use this over the eyes. And then just regular um, the black to kind of darken the eyelashes. And I think she look all right. I kind of want this to stay back though, so you can see her earring. And I want this right there. Let me put that. So you can see that right there. I want that to be right there. Her earring. But you can still see the jewelry. I think she's cute. This was just some black paint. I'm just kind of covering up. Yeah, I need this a little paint right there. She good. Is she cute? Again, first tip was to um, paint the sides of here after we cut with the um, hot knife. And then we use the tape to put the picture to this. We use zip ties to, cut, to put it to the canvas. And um, we use the adhesive bling. So those were the five tips. Hope that helps. Thanks. Like or subscribe.